Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly discussion on matters of faith. Joining us this morning is Brenda Beverly. She is a member of the Baha'i Faith. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. And you are here to talk about an observance that is happening starting today, and I hope I get the pronunciation right, inter, intercalary days. Yes. And what is that for the people that don't know? Well, the Baha'i Faith has a unique calendar, like all major religions. It's a solar calendar, which is similar to the Gregorian calendar used by uh, Christian traditions and that we know here in the United States. But instead of having um, 12 months of uneven days, we have 19 months of 19 days. Mm -hmm. But if you do the math, when you add 19 times 19, you come up with 361 days, and that leaves four extra days. So this is the time where you get to kind of celebrate in a way. Exactly. The, it's the time out of the normal routine, out of the calendar. Um, it's really a time for fun, parties, charity, gift giving, and we're preparing for our annual fast. Let's show you some uh, pictures that you sent us from earlier. These are some pictures of other uh, intercalary days of celebration. What do you do to kind of observe these days? Well, a lot of the time will be spent with visiting friends and family. This afternoon there's a dinner. Uh, when my children were little, I'd have a little surprise gift for them for every one of the four days to open. Sometimes we would bake cookies and cupcakes and take them, take them to the school or have friends over. So it's really um, focused on love, unity, spending time with friends and family and some charity and service opportunities. Now this is really a, a preamble in a sense to a time of fasting. Mm -hmm. What is this leading up to? Mm -hmm. So the Baha'i month of loftiness, the last month of our year, so each of our months is named after a different attribute of God. So the Baha'i month of loftiness is the time when we fast and Baha'is uh, abstain from food and drink from sunrise to sunset for those 19 days. Um, it's what is that like? What does that feel like? Um, actually, it's it's easier than you might think because you can have a breakfast and then you stop eating and drinking and then you eat your dinner and you're very careful to eat nutritiously and to include water. And so it's really a time as you experience any hunger or thirst during the day to really think about God, um, to renew that relationship. You know, many of us can get off track throughout the year. And so when you come back around to the time of fasting, you have an opportunity to renew your morning prayer time, think about God throughout the day, and really strive to be that person that you want to be. And I can't help but think about the parallels between this observance and Mardi Gras and Lent for uh, Christianity. Are, are there any ties between the two religions on that front in this observance? You no, know, other than the fact that all major religions have times of fasting, and they're typically, you know, started with a time of partying and, and preparing for the fast, and then likewise, there's usually a party at the end of that time as well. So when we get through the 19 days mm -hmm. uh, of, the, of the fasting, physically, how, how does that feel? Um, really, I typically am fine because I enjoy good health, and Baha'is who are not in good health don't participate in the fast in the same way. I think the thing that's nice about it is that all around the world, Baha'is are observing the fast in the same way, so we don't have to think about what we're going to give up or how we'll observe it. So whether you're rich or poor, you have an opportunity to just stay away from food and drink for those uh, about... 11 to 12 hours every day. And the intercalary days, what are the, like the traditional foods or observances that you would have uh, consumed during this time? Yeah, that would be different all around the world because mm -hmm. the Baha'i faith is a worldwide religion, so different people around the world might observe it in different ways. And so I think it's, it's like anything, extra sweets, maybe a few extra fattening foods, as I mentioned, cookies and cakes, just because you are preparing for that time of fasting. All right, Brenda Beverly with the Baha'i Faith joining us to talk about intercalary days. Thank you so very much for joining us. And News 5 This Morning will continue after the break.